Mr Barker. The question is the motion be agreed to. I call the member for Fowler. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I commend the member for Perth for bringing this important motion to our attention. The government's lack of commitment to ensure the highest level of safety on Australian roads, quite frankly, is a great concern. The government has yet to come clean on its plans for the future of the Road, uh, road Safety Remuneration Tribunal. This tribunal, bear in mind, Mr. Deputy Speaker, was given the important task of establishing a safe freight system on Australian roads for the Australian transport industry to ensure the safety for, of all road users. The uh, tribunal should be left alone by this government and allowed to get on and do its job, and that is to make our roads safer for everybody. Uh, road transport industry is one of the deadliest in Australia, with uh, uh, death rates of 15 times higher than the national average. F uh, f uh, fatality rates in, um, on road freight transport doubled between 2011 and 2013, which should be a concern to everybody. It's not only uh, the workers in the industry who are affected. Out of the 330 people who die uh, each year in truck-related accidents, between 50 and 70 are truck drivers. The rest are other motorists and uh, pedestrians. Australian truck drivers work hard to make a living, but they shouldn't be expected to die to make a living. In addition to uh, the loss of life, accidents involving heavy vehicles result in higher economic costs in this country. Mr Deputy Speaker, staggeringly, it is approaching around $2.8 billion annually. Safety standards in the road transport industry clearly uh, have an effect on uh, our overall road safety. When truck drivers are overworked, safety of all road users are compromised. Clearly, the financial pressure has been placed on our road transport companies and in turn on truck drivers by the major clients uh, um, uh, is causing a, a compromise uh, to uh, road safety. Truck drivers, their families, uh, Australian road users, are being squeezed to death by the overwhelming market power of big retailers like Coles and along with Woolworths, which for account for 33 per cent of uh, road freight uh, movements each, uh, each day. Mr Deputy Speaker, in 2012, an industry survey of Coles supply chain showed that 46 per cent of trans uh, uh, drivers were pressured to skip rest breaks, 28 per cent were pressured to speed, 26 per cent were pressured uh, to carry illegal overweighted vehicles. Uh, delivery schedules are making uh, no account of, uh, uh, of uh, traffic, uh, road works or other delays, uh, which, uh, uh, which are uh, by, set by our major retailers uh, in terms of uh, meeting their, uh, their schedules, uh, as forcing uh, drivers to uh, speed, to skip rest breaks, uh, to, to meet those impossible deadlines. If they don't meet these deadlines, you know what happens. They lose their contracts. It should be no surprise uh, like a company like Coles, which donated more than half a million dollars to the Liberal Party since 2004, was strongly opposed to the previous Labor government's measures to strengthen uh, the road safety system. These companies are clearly profit-driven, and concerns uh, about safety, uh, regrettably, are secondary. The government cannot afford to take the same position and needs to stand firm on the side of safety. No one wants to see people die on our roads, and this government cannot afford to abandon the extensive efforts initiated by the previous Labor government to improve uh, road safety standards uh, throughout our transport industry. Unfortunately, those opposite have already demonstrated their priorities when they oppose the construction of new uh, rest stops and as well as parking bays to assist heavy vehicle drivers to improve uh, road safety uh, in 2012. I congratulate the Transport Workers Union, led by Tony Sheldon, who has fought long and hard to protect not only his members, uh, who work in the, one of the deadliest industries in this country, but also, importantly, this, their, his campaign is uh, certainly based on improving the safety standards for all members of our community. I urge the government not to abandon efforts of, uh, of the Labor Party over the last couple of years. Uh, to strengthen and support safety on our roads um, and to retain the Road Safety, Trans uh, road safety Remuneration Tribunal and not to uh, compromise the safety of workers on our roads and uh, certainly all road users. <coughs> it is clear, Mr Deputy Speaker, that the, the safety measures uh, in Australia's deadliest industry need to be strengthened, not abandoned. Thank the member for Fowler. The question is that the